Good morning. I'm Mara Schiavocampo. And I'm Kendis Gibson with some of our top stories on this Thursday, June 25th. And we're going to get started with new developments from the upstate New York prison where two convicted killers escaped. A veteran prison guard was arrested for helping those inmates. Jim Palmer is believed to have delivered tools inside frozen hamburger meat to the prisoners. His lawyer says Palmer had no knowledge they were trying to break out and didn't know meat he gave them had contraband hidden inside it. Palmer was released on bail. More Confederate flags are falling across the South in response to the racially motivated church shooting. The flag was removed from Alabama's capital. Both Mississippi senators are now calling for their state flag to be redesigned without the Confederate emblem. And officials in Kentucky want a statue of Confederate President Jefferson Davis removed from the state house. The Supreme Court issues key decisions today with six major cases remaining. The two headliners among them are Obamacare and same-sex marriage. The court has been considering legal issues with health care tax subsidies, and the justices uh, were asked to consider whether the 14th Amendment allows states to deny same-sex marriages. And Whole Foods is accused of overcharging. It's not the first time. New York City's Consumer Affairs Agency says the supermarket routinely overcharges customers. Specifically, they're accused of overstating the weight of some pre-packaged products, and the customers are charged by the pound. Whole Foods disputes the complaint. Last year, the store paid to settle similar charges in Southern California. I'll get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Mara Skevelkampo. And I'm Kevin Gibson. Thanks for watching.